Uh, this was this is a little tough, but I'm liking what I'm seeing from uh, Jaden Ivy right now. Uh, I think he uh, he's in a great situation. You know, uh, young a lot of young talent around him, so they're they're all kind of just trying to figure out how do we all kind of fit in here. Uh, but so far, you know, he's uh, he's really just shown that hey, I I know what I'm doing, and uh, you know, he shot really efficiently too. I think he's like shooting like 50 percent out of the field, and you know, not making too many mistakes. Uh, you know passing, getting rebounds, playing solid defense overall. So looking like a great pick, looking like a great draft overall. Um, you know, I, I think the only other uh, uh, player that I, I would consider, uh, I mean, Paolo, like he's played okay. Um, he, I think he's like averaging like 22 points right now, but um, I feel like there's just been, uh, he hasn't been as efficient. He, it's just been one of those, I'm scoring a bunch of buckets because everybody else kind of sucks around me or isn't able to score as much. So that's certainly is where I feel like uh, he's. It's it's going to look lesser on his um, uh, lesser for him in that in that sense. So I think the other one I'm thinking about is uh, Benedict uh, Matherin. He's been really really solid. I think for the Pacers at least right now. And you know with that Pacers squad, I feel like yeah they they kind of have that opening for a wing, but they have a lot of talent around the wing and everything. You know with Tyrese Halliburton uh, shooting efficiently and everything there and. Uh, obviously, like Miles Turner uh, at the center position, uh, you, you know, I know they have like uh, some wings, like with you know Buddy Heald and all, but I feel like there's just so much, so much opportunity for him to contribute um, in, in kind of the wing spot for the Pacers, and they they still have enough talent. I feel like uh, around there for him to like just fit right in, um, a lot a lot of solid veterans too for him to learn from and and grow from. So. Yeah, I mean, my pick was Paulo uh, Boncaro. I just feel like, you know, what he's able to do in multiple dimensions of the game with scoring, rebounding, um, his passing ability, I feel like he's got good length. He, you know, had some pretty disgusting block off the off the backboard in, you know, the first game. But, uh, you know, I just like what he brings to the table. I think he'll, you know, put up enough numbers to to make himself the most attractive of the, of the pack. I feel like, you know, like you're saying with the Magic, still got them kind of in the, you know, bottom tiers of the of the of the conference itself. I, I like where that team could possibly go in, in years ahead. I mean, with you know the Wagner brothers, you've got Cole Anthony, um, you know Jalen Suggs when he gets healthy again. You got Wendell Carter Jr. It's like that's that's a good young squad. I mean, obviously you need some more you know time and some veteran depth there, but it's exciting to see what their future you know could possibly hold for them if if folks can just stay in Orlando for once and like you know, just kind of, kind of go through the, the hardship and, and, and see uh, the light at the end of the tunnel as a team. But uh, also just give a shout out to the Pistons. They were very close to, uh, you know, cracking into my uh, top 10 in the East. I, I really wanted to, but uh, you know, like you're saying, I mean, two home run drafts in a row um, for the team itself and Jalen Duran kind of backing up Isaiah Stewart. I mean, it feels like he's just knocking on the door to take that center position at some point. And uh and Stewart's been solid. And, uh, you know, Sadiq Bay is another guy who just kind of like slides under the radar because he's not, you know, the top pick in the draft or whatever else. But like, you know, he's almost averaging 20 points a game and, you know, he's playing his uh, part over there too. And to grab Bogdanovich from the, for the jazz for basically free, it was like, damn, like this, this team is fun. And, uh, you know, they're going to go through their growing pains too, but, you know, I see some light at the end of the tunnel for them as well. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I really do like the Pistons. I think they'll be good. You know, uh, I think this this will definitely be a, a building year for them. Um, you know, they, <laughs> they 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 have been drafting well. I think the one draft pick was like Killian Hayes, uh, really good, <laughs> really good defender. But what's he shooting now? Like, uh, oh, sixteen uh, percent for the year right now after like you know, three four games. It's like yeah, you can do a little bit better than that, man. And I was really high on him. I think he actually shot like eighty some odd percent. Which usually free throw shooting is usually a pretty good indicator that the that the players uh, can you know have a repetitive uh, you know wrist action and everything and can shoot uh, you know off the dribble for threes and stuff like that, but has not shown any type of offensive <laughs> uh, acumen whatsoever. Um, but yeah, to your point, they have a lot of young talent. They're adding some vets around them, so I think you know maybe next year this potentially I think could be a playoff team for sure. Yeah, if you're going to import anything from France, make it a good, you know, bottle of Bordeaux or you know some fine cheese. But but just keep, uh, you know, I'm just kidding. But like, yeah, yeah Killian <laughs> Hayes, like complete bust, uh, cool name. But yeah, he's just been he's been pretty god awful. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, oh man, this stuff is like the the what ifs, right? It's like Sadiq Bay's he's in pretty good, ha- has is having a really solid uh, career right now. And it's like, man, if the Bulls like traded back instead of getting Patrick Williams right now, not again, not to like throw away Patrick Williams yet, but uh man, you know, Sadiq, Sadiq Bay is playing really well. Um, you know, averaging 18 points right now for the season, 14 for his career. So um, and shooting at a pretty decent clip of like 30. 36 percent 33 percent from three um and yeah it has, has like i think like a 40 point game in his in his resume too so um but hey there's still a lot of uh, basketball to be played i think so 